proud of it too with the nopal in my frente. I went to sleep last, last night thinking about a research proposal that I had to work on and a project that I'm working on for Cat 125. They told us, they, for the Cat 125 paper, they told me, write about an experience you feel was important in your life, something that you really want to talk about, that you want to tell, share your story with. Somehow that ended up being my freshman year. The topic that I chose was to write about how, and this campus made me feel like an outsider, an alien, a foreigner in my own freaking country. And somebody told me when we're doing peer editing and peer review, are you going to have a happy ending? Or are you going to choose to say that you still feel like an alien and an outsider? At first I said, I'm going to write a happy ending. <coughs> we've been taught, we've been told to stay quiet, to go with the flow. Just keep going, everything will write out. And you're going to, if you just <coughs> shut up, everything will come out the way you want it to. It's not happening. We've seen it. We saw it. Everybody knows it. You wouldn't be here if you haven't noticed that it's not happening. We can't let this shit write out. How are we gonna write it out and just stay quiet? Well, there's a threat going on that somebody may jump us or kill us or attack us one night. But, and I came here today and thinking, it's not a happy ending. How can I write about a happy ending when all this is going down? But now, as I've processed this in the last couple hours that we've been here, I will write about a happy ending. A happy ending that includes all these, all these different faces. I may not have felt like I was, you know, a part of this university, like I belong here, but I do belong here. And all of you have shown me that. I had so many people tell me in high school, I didn't, I, I wasn't going to be happy here. That I wasn't going to find somewhere that I belonged. But I have. I have great friends. I have a great support system. One of them being, you know, the community law project. And, and I just wanted to say that even though it's a grim day, it's like a rainy day, at the end of the day, of those pouring showers, of being, you know, held up in hostage in your home because it's pouring outside. You see a beautiful rainbow. You're all the rainbow to me. Thank you.